and we are about to do the French Ridge Cut. National Park and we are about to do the French Ridge Hut which follows the Matukituki Valley and we're really excited because this is the top backpacking trip that one of our guides on our glowworm cave exploration on the North Island said it was like in the world and she's hiked all over the world so our expectations are high and we're actually gonna try to sleep in the French hut but it's first come first serve and we are starting later than we had originally thought so we're hoping that's still okay. It's supposed to be kind of a difficult last ascent, so maybe that will deter some people. Our journey begins in the Matukituki Valley, located in the Southern Alps of New Zealand, and follows the Matukituki River beginning at the Raspberry Creek car park. For the first 11 miles, we pass through beautiful landscapes surrounded by cascading waterfalls and stunning glaciated peaks. Then, we begin the final two-mile ascent of steep, rugged terrain until we arrive at French Ridge Hut. What? Uh. So honey, how many river crossings have we done? Too many. This one looks really bad. So we built our own little makeshift. Look, we're real! Yeah! I have a wet How much have you loved this part so far? It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't so slippery. Yeah. Slippery and steep. And humid. Hey. 
You're one of the cutest little birds I've ever seen. So we just came up above the trees finally. We've been going up very steep, crazy terrain. And this is the view. So this is the glacier I believe we saw from down below. And you can see the blues. I hope the camera can pick that up, but there's like blue bits. And there's a ton of waterfalls just cascading down from the glacier, which is super cool, very beautiful. at the French Ridge Hut. This was a very challenging hike. <laughs> Don't underestimate it. It was, we'll put the elevation gain here. It was a lot, um, but we're here. The views are gorgeous. You can see the glacier from the hut um, and we'll take you inside for a quick sneak peek of the grounds. Rainwater. Water? This is the bunk bed area. I think this is it for bunk beds. Yeah. And it's very intimate bunk beds. So the beds are like this. They're on both sides, but they there's used to line up the mats, it looks like, together. So we're gonna be very cozy here. But they have storage area here, which is nice. After we arrived at the hut, we were greeted by a flock of mischievous birds, the kia. The kia is a mountain-dwelling parrot native to New Zealand. These curious and intelligent birds were nearly hunted to extinction when the government issued a bounty for them because of the harm they had been causing to livestock. There are now somewhere between 3,000 and 7,000 left in the wild. She just pooped on camera. Uh, no, don't come too close. Okay. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. <gasps> Hi, how are you, my friend? Okay. You're really getting close to us. Thank you. Yeah. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> oh, you seem friendly. You checking out my foot? <gasps> my foot. You want to look at my foot? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, you want to taste my foot? Oh, you are coming. Oh, yep. Oh, you're going for it. The Kia has garnered a reputation for being curious and often destructive. There are numerous reports of them damaging cars, boots, and backpacks, among other objects. Yeah, is it tasty? What you doing, pal? Oh, yep, you want to eat that. Got another one. Oh, you gonna eat my foot too? You want to eat my foot? Oh. They also have been known to steal belongings. According to one story, a Kia repeatedly stole nails from a construction site. When the construction worker caught the Kia in the act, he chased after the bird only to have his cigarette stolen by another. The nails were later found neatly organized in the gutter of a nearby house, sorted according to size. Oh, 
Well, all three of them at once. <laughs> Fortunately, our encounter was mostly friendly. Okay, pal, you're getting a little fresh. <laughs> well, mostly. It's been a real treat. <laughs> the chaos <camp> behind me. <laughs> All right, so it's the next morning. We survived the night sharing with 10 to 15 people in the French Ridge hut. So slept surprisingly well considering. Uh, we did hear it rain a bunch, so we're anticipating worse river crossings and potentially some slickness on the way down. But uh, we're gonna make our way down now. So we've about 13 and a half miles and a lot of elevation loss. But we were greeted this morning by not five, which I think is what we saw before but 10 Kias. So that was really exciting. They were saying goodbye to us. We have a long day ahead of us, so we're gonna start heading down. Finally, that I'm was a long, I'm so exhausted. I think I'm just gonna go in the van and probably just pass out, so exhausted. <laughs> in the wind. Oh, nope, you're going for the ankle. <laughs> that was actually near my ankle. <laughs> 